Hello everyone, Steve here, uh, Technician 775, the Reliable Prepper. Uh, one of the ladies that I'm friends with uh, has a uh, Harvest Right uh, breeze dryer and she said her uh, drying time was way too long. So I said, well, let me take a, go ahead, Blue. Uh, let me take a look at your, your pump. Um, I've got one of the newer versions and uh, you know there's a lot of stuff on the internet, uh, YouTube, you know, about the uh, pumps here. And I took it apart, cleaned it up. It was pretty dirty on the inside. And um, so I was like, you know what? It was really hard to get up underneath there with my big old fat fingers and change the oil. And that's what she was complaining about. So it's like, you know, I looked at it and went down to Lowe's, our you know local uh, home improvement place there, and uh, bought a a couple of parts to extend. Uh, the drain plug out. This is a kind of an odd setup. Mine's a little bit different. So what we did, uh, I went into Lowe's, and this is a one inch, one eighth inch drain plug right here. Okay, so I went in, and uh, what they had was a eighth inch by two inch nipple. Okay, I picked that up, and also a coupling, one eighth by one eighth inch coupling. And I unscrewed, it's a half inch, uh, half inch wrench, I uh, unscrewed uh, the drain off of this, uh, put a little bit of pipe, you know, it's not a whole lot, just enough to cover, you know, I use this one right here, the uh, pipe of thread sealant, that's a couple of brands, if you happen to have this, it's, uh, come on Charlie, come on scat, that's Charlie the cat rubbing on everything, alrighty, um, just wants to love it, anyways, so what I did, I took the nipple, and put a little bit of uh, the uh, pipe sealant on the on the end over here okay on this end and actually I did the whole thing on on the on the bench and and I wish I'd have taken a video while I was putting this together uh, screwed the coupling on there put a little bit of of uh, pipe sealant on, on on the threads like this and uh, put this in with a little bit of pipe sealant as well so I turned the unit up on its end and took a wrench and on this one right here on the actual uh, drain it's come on Charlie Come on, let's get it. All right, uh, the actual drain uh, nut portion itself, I went ahead and started tightening it up. And I tightened it, you know, not to where it's going to strip the threads, but, you know, good and snug and made sure that the hole, and if you have one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about, the hole is at the bottom right here. So now all you have to do is just hang this over just the edge just a little bit, and I can kind of zoom in on this if Charlie doesn't come and uh, wreck the camera again. All right. And he's a good cat. Just uh, wants to get in the. It wants to be a movie star, I guess. Okay. And you can see the. All right. I think I got everything tightened up. For the most part. Well, now I do. Okay. Uh, you can see this is the coupling right here. Come on, Charlie. Go ahead. Guess I need to feed him here. And preoccupy him. And um, uh, that's the nipple right there. That's the that's the coupling right here. And this is the actual drain. Uh, drain valve itself and you just look and, and get it good and snug and turn this one right here because this, when you turn this one it'll actually tighten this up into here and then tighten this up into there and tighten it up into the into the unit itself okay and that you can use a two and a half inch or maybe a three inch if you want to go out a little bit further but if you go out too much further and you happen to hit it you could possibly break something uh, and besides they all they had was a I think a two inch and a four inch uh, in the nipples you know and, and it's all brass you know so and I decided just to go with that because it doesn't stick out too far and it it'll stick out just far enough right here where you can open it up and and really easy drain the oil okay all right I've got one more mod but I need to reset the camera so we'll be right back okay uh, the second mod after I serviced the unit I noticed there was a lot of oil coming out of the top of this and for the most part from what I'm reading this is pretty much standard it actually came with a just a little top like this this is one of the first units that came out with and um, you know the oil was coming out right here and I did see where one of the uh, some gentleman on YouTube made a small modification but he hung just a small uh, bottle about this size right here um, off the top of this but there was no support uh, which, which is okay all right and uh, since I didn't have a small small bottle like that I did have an old uh, Orville Redenbacher's um, a one gallon popcorn container so what I did and these are all the pieces laid out right here uh, this is all half inch I uh, unscrew this okay got a um, this is a threaded to a slip I'm not a plumber so if I get this wrong 
um, half inch connector right here. Okay, this is five inches right there because the guy on the uh, internet, I don't think he gave uh, on YouTube, he didn't give all the measurements. So, and a lot of people aren't mechanically inclined. It is, it is what it is. Okay, you could probably go five and a half inches. I wanted to make sure there's enough space right here so we actually don't plug the uh, airflow because these things uh, need air. Okay, you could probably go five and a half inches, give this a little extra, uh, maybe even six inches if you want a little bit further back. But the further back you get, you see how this is up in an angle, the further back you get, um, you're going to have a tendency to have this in the air. You may have to slip a few sheets of paper or a piece of cardboard underneath it or whatever. So I'm going to give you everything that you're going to need for this. You're going to need a, a 90 degrees, half inch, slip and slip. Okay, sometimes you could probably or you may be able to get the threaded stuff, but this is what I had. I've got a big box right here full of uh, just uh, half inch, you know, pieces because if something breaks around here. Uh, we have to be able to repair it. Okay, uh, for right there, and then another little small slip right here. This is probably maybe three quarters of an inch. It doesn't take much. You kind of you know, like this. And unfortunately, I didn't have another one like this the right size. This is three quarter, but you want to use a half inch. You'll put the half inch right here, and then this will go through here with a nut on the on the bottom side. And this, uh, whoops, okay. Um, this is a nut from uh, the electrical uh, department. Uh, if you go to Lowe's and, and show this or, or make, a, make a note and tell them what you want to do, uh, they'll hook you right up. Okay, and we use just a regular PVC uh, cement, you know, for this. All right, so for the, for the lid, what we did, and, okay. Um, all right, I guess it's falling everywhere. Okay. For the lid, we drew, drilled a hole and I used a unibit. This comes from Harbor Freight and just big enough to a hole uh, so we can actually put the, the threaded portion you know, through here and it's just about the, just about the right size. All right. uh, just have to be careful with it when you're doing it. You, don't, you, know, you can make too big of a hole, but not really, not with this right here. Okay, um, cordless drill. You know, I use that if you have a cord drill, that's fine too. All right. We use uh, this right here, it's a uh, PVC pipe cut. It makes a nice, clean, smooth cut. Okay, and I don't know if you can see it under here. But anyways, the, the bottom portion on this is threaded. We put it through the lid and thread this right up. And we tightened it up with a pair of pliers. You know, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay, uh, I threw a couple towels in here just to see, you know, and you can see where it's actually catching some of the oil that's coming out. And up on top, what we did, we did some, I did four holes because I wanted the holes big enough to where the air coming out right here would not be restricted. Because you have to understand, these four holes have to be at least as big as what the half inch pipe is. So I think we did on here, uh, maybe three eighths or seven sixteenths holes. Um, let me see here, this is about right there. And it looks like that may be a, uh, hell, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, it looks like a three eighths holes. You can go three eighths or maybe seven sixteenths. You know, and when you can feel the air coming out, you know you'll feel the air coming out. So um, that's about it on this. And we use just a regular pair of pliers, you know, to tighten this up. You can put a crescent wrench on it. Um, that's probably the, the more the proper way to take and do it. And uh, that's about it. You know. Um, the parts list, a threaded, because this will have uh, the, the male threads, you need a female to a slip, to a 90 degree slip slip, a short piece like this, and a um, uh, slip to half inch threaded, and a nut. Put it together, and you're pretty much good to go. You may have to just pick this up just a little bit, set it down there, and kind of screw it, screw it in, in by hand just like that and you're set up. You know, it's maybe not 100% perfect, but it'll keep the oil off your machine. And if you put toilet paper in here, some paper towels or whatever, uh, you know, if you wanted to, you can actually put just a little bit of a standpipe, they call. You could get another maybe three or four inch piece like this, okay? And, you know, glue the joints together, uh, a slip joint to a, a threaded piece right here, a female and you can actually screw this un on underneath and have this go down just a little bit further. Uh, you can if you want to. Uh, I don't see a need for it, 
but it'll help push the air and stuff and you'll have less of a mist coming out the top right here unless it is oil in the air then just put some paper towels and stuff around it don't pack it but just put some paper towels around it so it'll just it'll stay free flowing and it'll catch most of the uh, most of the moisture uh, and the uh, moisture and also the oil coming out of there I didn't mean to get so long-winded uh, one other thing before we forget the fan always keep a fan running on this piece right here okay you want to take and keep that cool just a little small fan like that really not much and you keep a fan blowing that because that's the lifeblood of this pump is keeping it cool with that said this is technician 775 the reliable prepper please subscribe and hit the like button if you like what we've done and if we did something wrong let us know we'll be more glad to redo the video thanks again Okay, I couldn't help it. I had to go make a, uh, a short uh, stand pipe. I actually cut the pipe just a little bit too short. So whenever you have your your piece right here that's sticking out, and I don't know if you can see this or not. I don't want to get this thing. You'll have, you'll have just a little bit of a threaded area right there. Uh, a slip joint, a uh, half inch uh, female, okay, and probably maybe four inches of pipe. I cut this thing to three inches. Probably four inches of pipe would have been better. You just kind of screw you just screw this on here like that you know just it has to be hand tight it doesn't have to be rent you don't have to put a a um, just snug is good you don't have to put a, a, a wrench on it or anything or a pair of pliers and then you screw your jug on just like this and you can see the pipe you know is is more down into and that's the, kind of the beauty of having and I don't put the nut under here really tight I just put it snug so you can still move this around all right and with this said just like this you've got this actually sticking down in there and it pushes the more of the the moisture uh and the oil and the, and the vapors down in here you could put just a little bit more paper towels uh if you wanted to so that's it um this is it for good i don't think i have any more uh, uh it tricks or, or anything like that i would make the standpipe probably oh another inch or two longer um you know to go down you know that way you have less fumes uh coming out the top right there okay this is steve saying thank you very much